Okay, I'm going to um, do the activities in this chapter, the MySQL database server. The first thing I will do is get the uh, get and install the MySQL database server. So we go to the website. Which I've done this already, and uh, go to downloads. And we're going to download the community server. And uh, you pick your platform here. And what we will do, you should get the, the, the installer that's appropriate to your system. In my case, it's a 32-bit Windows installer that I need. I'm going to click download on that. You can skip the registration. And then grab um, grab the file. So that's uh, downloading. Okay, I've got <coughs> the installer. I'm going to run that. I will um, accept the license. I'm going to do a custom install just to see what's going on here. And um, let's take a look at this. This looks um, all right. Okay, I paused that for some time. That was about five minutes. And now I've got the, um, the new screen here. These are advertisements. Launch the MySQL instance configuration wizard. I'm going to try to um, install this so that it's not installed as a service because I don't want MySQL starting up and running every time I turn on my system. I just want to run it uh, when I need it. And uh, the reason I do that is because I don't want a running instance of MySQL occupying uh, memory or using other resources like CPU resources so on. Let's see, there's the configuration wizard and uh, let's go ahead and do that. It's a developer machine multifunctional. These are the standards standard selections and uh, this looks alright this is fine enable TCP IP networking that's right add firewall exception for this port we don't want that that's to enable outside uh, host to connect to the server running locally here so we don't want to open that up and this is good. Enable strict mode. Standard character set. Install as a Windows service. I'm going to take that off. The recommended way to run MySQL, but that's uh, not what I want. So here, include the bin directory in the Windows path. This is very convenient, and I highly recommend that you select that one. And there we go. We write the configuration file looks like it's who will start the service next configuration file created okay now um, we need to figure out how to uh, to start the service so let's uh, let's do that if I open up um, terminal window let's see if we can start uh, MySQL from the command line well let's look at what's in the start menu here this is the configuration wizard 
this is um, this is what we ran already, so we're not going to run that again. I'm going to go into accessories, command prompt, and uh, watch this. We run MySQL. So we know that uh, it's in the path. So we use um, this percent path. You'll see that um, C program files MySQL MySQL server 5.5 bin is in the is in the path. So now what we need to do is start up the uh, the server. But what I'll do is I'll take a look at how to do that. So I'm not sure exactly how to do that yet. So let's go ahead and uh, and investigate. So I'm going to go into um, program files and MySQL where is my is it now under something else hmm. C program files MySQL there it is should be in there right this is C program files MySQL I just have to go down there it is <coughs> and uh, here's the data in here looking for a readme here's the bin bin directory so there must be a way to start the server in here let's figure that out and something like safe mysql that's the old old way to do it maybe mysql d <coughs> let's take a look here <coughs> maybe this one right there so I'm, I'm just going to experiment here I'm going to try to just start this up see what we get here okay, so we get a get a terminal window I'm going to unblock that And uh, this, I don't think it's running. Well, let's try it anyway. This is my SQL. We're in. Hmm. How do I shut it down? How do you shut down my SQL? Let's be on the command line. Maybe it's something like um, my SQL D. I'll try this. Help. MySQL D for more help options use MySQL D minus minus verbose. Let's take a look at that. Wow, that's a lot. That's too much to look at. There must be something like a shutdown, so I'm just gonna quickly find that. MySQL uh command line uh shutdown. See like that. Starting MySQL from the Windows command line. Um, you should start a console window and enter this and um, so on. I'm going to try the following. It's my SQL minus U for user, root user, and then I'm going to go shut down unknown database shutdown oh, I'm sorry it's not MySQL it's MySQL admin there it is should shut down the database server now so let's try to connect again this is how we connected before MySQL so that's good now we see that it's in fact uh, shut down so this alright so we can see that the server is running so now uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just use that procedure and um, and run this again. We need to set the uh, the database password. Uh, it's it's inconvenient not to have a database password, so I'm going to do it like this: minus u root and uh, password. I believe this is how to do it. I better check that. Warning single quotes were not trimmed from the password by your command line client you m as you might have expected. Uh oh. So what we wanted to have done is this, but now we won't be able to connect. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
let's see if we can log in with that. So if we just do minus SQL by itself, we're in. Let's try this again. We need to, let's do flush privileges. Access denied. You need at least one of that. So we're not we're not in, so we we, we want to be root. Let's see if we can log in as root and uh, flush privileges. So that works. Quit. Let's see if we can log in as root now. All right, let's see if this, uh, hopefully this is going to fail. Good. So that's because we've, we have now have a password. So we have to specify that password. So minus P, notice there's no space after the P here. So we're going to get in. Now we're in. So that's one way to get uh, MySQL installed. One, uh, as a final, let's rem remind ourselves again how to shut this down. I'm going to go MySQL admin minus U root, but we'll need our, our password this time. And we'll do shutdown. That's easy to remember. Good. That should, uh, that should work. So now if we try to log in, we fail. Good. That's it.